If you are looking for fun, engaging activities to do with your preschooler indoor or outdoor to work on numbers and quantities, then this video is for you! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Preschool at Home series where every week I focus on a theme and I show you fun engaging activities to do with your preschooler at home or outdoors um, to learn through play. So for example, last week we focused on shapes and I showed you lots of really fun uh, games and activities that I do with my three years old to teach her all the different shapes and this week we are focusing on numbers. So before I get started, um, a couple of tips for you. So the first thing is that the activities that I'm going to show you today are really to learn to identify the numbers when they are written, you know, to recognize the symbols, um, as well as working on quantities. So your toddler should already be able to count to 10 um, in order to do these activities. The next thing is I highly recommend focusing on just a few numbers at first. Um, so don't straight away try to get your child to memorize and recognize numbers one to 10. Um, what I do with my toddler is that I focus on only three numbers at a time. So we'll focus on numbers one to three. And once she's very comfortable with those numbers and she can straight away um, identify them when she sees them written somewhere, and then we move on to numbers four to six and so on. Um, and so I think this is the best method on making sure that they really fully master each number before you move on to the next set of numbers. Uh, and lastly, before I start showing you the activities, like every week, I have a book recommendation for you uh, because I really feel like reading stories is an amazing way to introduce new ideas and concepts and a fun way to learn. So this week, the book I want to show you is this one is called Feast for Ten um, by Catherine Fowell. And Emma and I have been loving this little story. And it's the story of a mother and her children who are preparing a meal for 10 people. And so they are first going shopping and buying all the stuff that they need and then going back home and cooking together and preparing this family meal for 10. So highly recommend this one and it will be linked in the description box below. Okay, let's get started with our fun activities. For the first activity, you will need some cotton balls or pom-poms, a couple of cupcake holders where you write down the numbers that you're working on at the bottom of them, and uh, you can use either pegs or toast tongs like what we are using with Emma today. So basically the idea is that you ask your toddler to read the number at the bottom of the cupcake holder, recognize it, and then put the correct amount of cotton balls or pom-poms inside the cupcake holder. And as you can see, the cotton balls are a bit wider than pom-poms, so um, it really depends on your child's um, you know, fine motor skills, because this is also a great exercise to help your child with their fine motor skills. Um, so with Emma, we started with cotton balls and then I found that it was a bit too easy for her so we moved on to pom-poms and you can use different size of pom-poms as well and it's a great fun little activity to get them to practice reading numbers and associating with quantities. The next activity you will need some paint you can use finger paints because as you can see we're going to be using our fingers and then I've got these free uh, printables that I will put the link in the description box below but basically the idea is that your child should make the same number of petals on this flower as the number that's written on it um, so she has to once again recognize the number and then make the correct number of petals which she really loved doing especially because she got to paint with her fingers and as you can see there's also a ladybug version both of them are free and you can download them online both of them will be linked in the description box below but Emma really enjoyed this little activity I think everything that's messy and with paint she loves <laughs> so and this is the final piece of art that we get 
So the next activity is also by far Emma's favorite and for that you will need a couple of fruits or vegetables, um, different quantities of them, a piece of blank paper, a pen and scissors. And I'll show you what I do to prep for this activity. Normally you should do it the day before but here I wanted to film it for you, that's why I'm doing it right before doing it with Emma. And so I'm basically making smaller rectangles and cutting them up and basically I'm going to make bills of money to play with. So I'm making fake money here. So I'm then using my marker to write down different numbers. Um, Emma and I are focusing on numbers 1 to 5 here. So I'm making a couple of bills of each. And then we basically play grocery shop. So at first she's a shopper and she comes and tells me which fruits or vegetables she wants to buy, which gets her practicing her vocabulary and names of fruits and veggies. And then I ask her for a certain amount of money and she has to recognize the numbers and give me the correct bill. What else do you want to buy? Um, gra grapes, you want to buy the grapes? How many grapes do you want to buy? Um, Two grapes? Okay, two grapes is one pound. Show me, did you take two grapes? Yes. Show me in your hand. Good job. Two grapes is one pound. Can you give me one pound? One pound, one. Very good, thank you. And then we exchange roles and she is um, the sales assistant and she has to give me the correct amount of fruits um, that I'm asking for and then ask me for the, uh, you know an amount of money and I'm gonna give her my bill and I highly recommend this game because my daughter loves it and she's made huge progresses by playing this game both with quantities and giving me the right amount of fruits but also with recognizing the numbers on the bills to give me the correct bill so this is definitely a winner if you are enjoying the content of this video so far and you think these are fun activities that you would actually enjoy doing with your child, then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos. The next game is once again a resource that you can find online for free, link will be in the description box below. And my daughter loves it because it's a game that goes with the nursery rhyme Five Little Monkeys where basically she's got to pick a number and then she's got to put the right number of monkeys jumping on the bed. So I've laminated it and I'm using Velcro but you definitely don't have to if you just cut them up, um, you can definitely do it without the Velcro. The next game is an outdoor game, so as you can see I've used chalk to write down the numbers on the floor and I basically um, say a number and my daughter has to jump on the correct number. So as soon as I say the number she's got to jump as fast as she can on the correct number and she loves that game, uh, she really enjoys it because she's got to jump around and it's a lot of fun and you can do it in your backyard or in the park, it's a nice activity to do outdoors and it's all about speed it's really about recognizing that number as quickly as possible and the faster they are the more fun it gets the next activity can be played indoors or outdoors and it's a nature pattern activity so as you can see I started a pattern and my daughter has to observe it, observe what items there are, count the number of items for each one and reproduce the pattern. So this is a fun little activity that you can do outside if you like or if it's always raining like it is for us you can bring all the stuff indoors and do it indoors. For the next activity you will need pom-poms, a small container, a toaster tongs or a peg and a dice with the numbers written like this. And I got a chunky one, I will link it in the description box below. And I also ended up using a little tray as well so that the dice doesn't 
um, fall off the table and basically my daughter's got to roll the dice, recognize the number and then put the correct amount of pompons in the little container. Once again, great for fine motor skills and she really enjoys that game and you know it's a nice alternative to the one with the cupcake holders uh, because the dice just adds a bit more fun. <laughs> So she really enjoyed that game. And the last activity I want to show you is this color by number activity. Once again, it's a free printable. Link will be in the description box below. Um, and if your child is like my daughter and loves coloring, then this is a really fun little activity that you can do where she's got to color according to the number. So she's got to practice recognizing the number. Um, so this is a great little exercise to have fun do some coloring while also practicing her numbers so my daughter really loved that one and this is the final product <laughs> please do let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite activity and stay tuned for next week because next week we're going to be focusing on self-regulation and I'm going to be showing you some really fun engaging games and activities that you can do with your toddler to help them learn to talk about their own emotions as well as some positive coping mechanism so that they can deal with these intense, intense emotions when they are here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day.